5 Things You Need to Know Wednesday Security presence in New York City will be enhanced Wednesday after a man drove a truck down a bike path in Lower Manhattan, killing at least 8 people and injuring 11 others. Law enforcement officials identified the suspect as Saiflo Saipov, 29, a native of Uzbekistan who came to the U.S. in 2010. Witnesses described the frantic moments of the attack, with people scrambling for cover as the vehicle plowed down the scenic pathway that snakes around Manhattan. Experts caution that vehicle attacks, a disturbing trend that requires little organization, manpower or technological know-how, could be a frightening indication of things to come in the war on terror in the U.S. For the second consecutive year, there will be a Game 7 of the World Series. The Los Angeles Dodgers beat the Houston Astros in Game 6 to force the winner-take-all game that sports fans have been clamoring for Wednesday night. The decisive game will feature a rematch of Game 3 starters with brash Astros pitcher Lance McCullers Jr. and Dodgers veteran New Darvish, who will face Astros first baseman Manuel Gurriel after Gurriel's racist gesture towards him. It will be the 39th decisive Game 7 and the fourth time in seven years the World Series has gone the distance as both teams look to end their World Series droughts. To get you started for the big game in Los Angeles, here's a look back at the epic World Series Game 7 classics. President Trump's opiate commission is set to deliver its final report on Wednesday on the opiate crisis affecting the country. The commission, headed by New Jersey Governor Chris Christie and founded in March, is expected to provide details on how the crisis became widespread. In an interview with USA Today, Christie also said the report will provide recommendations for solutions. According to the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, 12.5 million people misused prescription opioids in 2015. Trump declared the opiate crisis a public health emergency last week. On Wednesday, open enrollment for the Affordable Care Act, also known as Obamacare, starts. With a shorter sign-up period, there will only be about 45 days to sign up if you want to be insured January 1. Supporters of the ACA are heavily promoting open enrollment after the Trump administration cut funding for people who promote it. A federal judge recently upheld President Trump's plan to stop funding the subsidies that cover out-of-pocket costs for millions of people with ACA plans. But even without the administration funding the subsidies to insurers, the federal government will still wind up covering the higher premiums for millions of lower-income people that will result. The pioneering women of NASA are coming to a toy shelf near you. On Wednesday the popular toy block maker will release its Women of NASA set paying tribute to key women in NASA's history. The 231-piece set will include Sally Ride, the first American woman in space, Mae Jemison, the first African-American woman in space, Nancy Grace Roman, known as the mother of Hubble Telescope, and Margaret Hamilton, an engineer who wrote the guidance software for vessels including Apollo 11. The set will also come with the posable Hubble Space Telescope and launch pad with Space Shuttle Challenger. 